I'm going to share here today, because I know they don't have this species over there on the other side, is that Jack thinks that this species is responsible for several ghost stories. So, first of all, that white underside, if it flew by you fairly low, because they do sometimes fly low, would give you a little bit of a shock if you just saw a flash of light flying by you at night. They also make a sound that's kind of spooky, right, Beth? Shh. <laughs> Just trying to figure out where the other barn owl is. So this loud hiss. So if you heard a loud hiss that you couldn't see where it came from, and you saw a flash of white, if you could hear wings flapping, you might be like, no, it's just an owl. But you're not going to hear the wings flapping. So these owls have serrated edges on the leading edge of their flight feathers that give them completely silent flight. So when they're flopping around on the perch here, you can still hear them because there's lots of stuff tangled up. But if this bird were to fly across the room and you were quiet, you would not hear a flap of the wings. Okay? Now, there's sort of competing ideas as to why that works. Both of them revolve around trying to make sure it's easier to catch prey, which makes sense. But here's the thing. The original thought was, by having silent flight, 